Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. Sorry, I'm having a bit of gas in my mouth today. Yep, a little bit of gas. <laughs> so pardon me, or excuse me for that. But we'll be reviewing Transformer Cyber Battalion Shockwave. But before we review the figure itself, we're going to look at the box itself. We got this for Ollie's for only 10 bucks. Discount price. Got a nice product shot of Shockwave in his robot mode and his spaceship mode. But with some creativity and your own imagination... You can easily make a weird gun out of this, see? Just take some creativity in the mind space. But yeah. But I like the spaceship mode a lot. This is my favorite spaceship mode shockwave. Now we're going to get down to comparisons. Before we get down to transforming it. And here's how it transforms in 10 steps. And a bio about shockwave. There is no limit to the evil this Decepticon scientist can create. So yeah, he's evil. And he serves Megatron. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. And let's get down to comparisons. Here we have Cybertalian Shockwave from 2018 next to the 2018 Cybertalian Prowl. Because that's a good comparison. Of course, with some Shockwave comparisons, we got Generation 1 Shockwave. And the gun mode just doesn't want to stay down. So, sorry about that. I set him down on the table. He popped loose his gun mode. And I got pop it loose. Gun Shockwave. Dare I say why not? He's gun Shockwave. The Authentics Bravo Spaceship Shockwave. This is the better spaceship than this one. And it's from Authentics Bravo, a similar line. Creo Bot Shot Shockwave. And yeah, that's a simple one. Creo Battle Changer Shockwave, based on his Transformers Prime design. But that's all there is to say for the comparisons let's get down to transforming him and i got this transformation memorized first you pull these panels up fold them down flip out his robot mode head rotate his chest up like so rotate down his arms flip out his fist flip out his gun hand rotate the arms downwards Fold that in, and make sure everything's nice and tabbed in, split the legs, flip out his heels, straighten out the legs. He doesn't have any knee bend, but he can kick forward that far. Now we flip out his toesies, and there we have Shockwave in his robot mode, and this is a good looking robot mode. Very faithful to the Generation 1 design for Shockwave. Love this figure. Hands down. Articulation's pretty good. No knee bend. But he does get some tiltage like that. You can tilt his leg if you want. Ball joints. Like hinge joints on the arms. Head is on a joint. Which is pretty cool. Gun is pretty cool. He can go, eat my cannon of death, Autobots. That's Shockwave for you. Because I am Shockwave. And I am superior to all Autobots. 
But now we're going to get down to some robot mode comparisons. Here we have the Cyber Battalion Shockwave, which is my second Cyber Battalion next to Prowl from 2018. And I got Prowl's transformation memorized. Here's Prowl, because they're they are at the exact same size scale. And of course, Generation 1, Shockwave, because it's precious. Generation 1, precious. And I've had this figure for a long time. Since I got it from the Steel City Con, and it's precious. Altogether, Shockwave be precious. That's comparison number one. Now for the Authentics Bravo Shockwave, which I've also memorized. And I'll peg this. Peg it into his arm. And there we have the Authentics Bravo Shockwave. This is probably my second, third favorite Shockwave next to this one. Why not? Dare I say why not? It's at the same size scale. And yeah, I got the Cyber, not Cyber Battalion, but Transformers Creo Battle Changer Shockwave next to this Shockwave. And he is smaller than Cyber Battalion Shockwave. And last but not least, here's Creo, not Creo, but Bot Shot Shockwave because it's precious. Shockwavey precious. Do I highly recommend this figure? Yes. If you want a figure close enough to based on the 1980 Shockwave, then Cyber Battalion Shockwave is the closest figure you can get for your collection. If you don't have the Generation 1 1980 Shockwave, this is so close to his iconic figure that it's really great. I highly recommend these to any toy collectors looking for a great shockwave to add to their shelf. Doesn't have any near articulation, but you can always buy the Authentics Bravo one for 10 bucks if you want that complete accuracy. But I think it's a really good figure. I'm glad I got this for 10 bucks when this was originally a, probably a $20 figure. And I'm just so glad to have it. And this is my last toy review for this week until I get back from camp on Sunday of next week. And just to show you what we're reviewing next week after I get back from camp, this is Gundam Universe Nataku, aka Shalon Gundam. So I look forward to reviewing that. And I just ordered Gundam 05. AKA Sandrock. But that's all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.